Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinkum. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am loving this game. And I've only played one day of it. Um, well, actually, I've technically played two, but that's only because the first one went really fast. But, um, we're on Paradise Island in Australia. And, um, if you need a bed, Fletch keep sleeping bags in the beast tent. Okay, good to know. Oh, I'm still holding my googly eyes. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, you guys, let's see what's going on today. Uh, my campfire's still going, so that's pretty cool. Um, Let's see what task. We have no tasks yet today. So, travel 1,000 miles on foot. Cook to meat, harvest 10 cactus figs. Yeah, we're going to have to do some exploring. Hey, Fletch. I've got another job for you, Riley. You up for it? I'm ready. I'll tell you what, I, I think camping is fun. But if we're going to convince people to stay here on Paradise, we got to start building more permanent structures. I've noticed there's a lot of tin ore on the island. I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know a way we can melt down tin ore into stuff great for building. Now, I'll need you to bring me some items. We'll need one campfire, three stone, and ten tin ore. Oh, okay. Keep in mind, you will need a mining license to buy a pickaxe to collect ores and rocks. Once you've gathered everything we need, come and see me. <coughs> Riley, how's the search going? Have you found all those items? Well, no, but I want to apply for a license. Let's have a look. Mining license. Allows the holder to buy pickaxes and break rocks and ore deposits. All right. Yay! I wonder what Anya means. Okay, so we're done with that. Oh, hi. Can I pet you? No. Um, so we need a pickaxe. Oh, that's a basic pickaxe. Smash rocks and ores. That'll be $12,000. $1,200. Oh my gosh, $12,000. I'll take it. Very good. Here you are. Thanks for your purchase. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak it. Okay, so I got a pickaxe. All right. Let's go. Um, okay. Oh, that was, what was that? Um, that was a termite nest. Gross, it's full of termites. <laughs> That's funny. I think maybe this is rock. Stone, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think we're going to need lots of stone. And just like every other game that we've ever played, where there's mining and farming and building, you need lots of stuff. <clears throat> Which is fine. Oh. How do I get 10 or just by hitting the grass? Is that how I get tenor? I don't really think I'm getting a bunch of... Oh. Grass seed. Okay. I don't think I really want to do that. I think maybe I got the tenor out of some of these rocks. Helps if you hit the right thing. <laughs> well, I'm definitely getting a lot of stone. Oh, and I got a quartz crystal. Oh, yeah. Using up a lot of energy. We need to find food. Okay. So, yeah. I 
I just don't know if you can eat those though, is the thing. Um, did we try that before? I went the wrong thing. See, because it's just a yellow flower, so, um, <clears throat> No, can't eat it. Okay. So we need to be finding food. We need some food. Can we find food? Well, the kangaroos are kind of skittish, but the dingoes don't seem to mind you too much. I'm trying to see where we <clears throat> haven't been yet, per se. Or if there's some more food. Uh, what is that right there? Oh, it's a bird. I was like, what is that? It's a bird. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, look at the sky. It's pretty. Like, where can we get food? Because they found those, like, bell pepper things. But I don't know, like, how common they are. <clears throat> Excuse me, or where exactly I got them before. I mean, we could try to go over on the other side over here. Oh, here we go. We're going swimming. I mean, maybe we'll be lucky and find some stuff over here. I keep getting these, but I don't really know why I'm getting them because I don't really know what they're good for. But, like everything else, I'm sure they're good for something. I just don't know what. Um, I mean, I know we need to get stuff to um, sell. Because we need to get enough money to get the cooking thing. But then I don't also know um, what else there is to eat. I'm kind of looking around because I don't want to. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to get lost. Am I losing energy just by walking? That's what I don't know. And then I wonder what happens to you. Do you pass out and you end up back in your tent? Or what's that? Oh, it's a drum. I don't have enough energy to do that right now. just kind of looking everywhere because I don't really know. I was kind of looking for some more of those um, pepper bushes, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a shark. Hey, Sharky. He looks like he's got major teeth. <laughs> <coughs> he's got some major looking teeth there. Oh, I guess, oh, is that an alligator right there? It is. Shh, be very quiet. <coughs> I am so sorry. I am just like, ugh. I'm sure they're faster in the water than I am. 
Maybe the next... Oh, I just passed out. Okay, so you can pass out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it takes you to the next day. Okay, good to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Good to know that you can pass out. Fletch might be able to help you upgrade your home. John is visiting the island. Okay. Um, notice how our fire is still going. I just really want to find something to eat. And I really don't know where to look for it. Um, well, now that we have some of our energy back. Let's try not to get too close to using it all this time. And maybe we should not, um, you know, venture off too far. Just so that um, I... Oh, there it is. So that we don't uh, get in trouble like that again. Oh my gosh. Really? There. Holy cow, that's going to take some time to get used to, I think. Um, I really wanted to find some more of those pepper trees, but I'm not seeing any. I think they were over in like an air. There's one. I'm still trying to get used to the controls. Like what do you do to pick up? Which button do you hit to harvest? Yeah. Um, we could go get some seashells. Can I jump up there? There we go. Well, it just won't let me pick up like all the time. You have to be just a certain way. And again, it's just getting used to the controls. Oh, the dog's swimming. I was like, is that an alligator? No, the doggy swim. Well, probably because you're hot. I think we're doing stuff. Okay. Shells are nature's way of littering. Here's a milestone for picking up those bad boys. Cool. Yeah, I passed out. Hard worker. Watch your energy. If you push yourself too far or if you stay out too late, you will faint. You'll lose stuff if you pass out. Here's a milestone for fainting. But try not to from now on. Okay. You sure can take a hit or two. Here's a milestone for taking damage. Thank you. Appreciate that. Smashing rocks is hard work, but sometimes they have stuff in them. Here's a milestone for smashing rocks. All right. Picking fruit and logs off the ground will get you far in this place. Here's a milestone for gathering lots of stuff. Lots of stuff up. <laughs> okay. And I think all those... Yeah. Buy a new tool. Well, I already did that. Collect nine shells. Do a job for someone. Okay. Well, we were collecting shells. Um, I keep pushing the down button instead of the up button. Na -na -na -na. I'm just picking up shells right now just so that I can get more of the next milestone and stuff. Um, so, oh, there's that butterfly. Jeez. 
here we go. <laughs> I'm like, here, let me get you. Uh, bug catcher? Yeah, bug catcher. Catching bugs is a great activity. You sure can take a hit or two. Okay, did I take another hit? Uh, uh. Okay, uh, buy a new tool, collect nine shells. Did I not collect nine shells? Um, well, let's pick this up. And this up. I'm just going along the coastline here. Let's head back. I like this because you don't have to jump or anything. You just go right on up. I don't know where my base is now. So, um, because I've kind of gone astray. Um, I think if you do, no. Oh, there's the map. Okay, where are we? Um, where did I go? Where's my base? Oh, my base is way over there. Okay, so, and I'm here, so I just gotta walk around that way. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we can do that. I think we can do that. All righty. <clears throat> so I'm trying to look for anything along the way that I can get. Oh, I do know what I wanted to see was the task. Collect the required. Okay. So I need to go make a campfire. And I have four out of ten of those ten ores. So I need to do more of that. Um, Staying in one spot isn't generally considered exploring. You're going to cover some distance, that's for sure. Here's a milestone for traveling. Wow, we've got a lot of the, what are they called? Okay. And let's pick these up. Since we're right here. Okay, so we need to make a campfire. Or that you have to jump up on. Okay, so, um, campfire, whoop, whoop, okay, we can craft one of those, cool, okay, now we just need some more of the 10 ore, um, yeah, we see need, we need six more, and then take them to Fletch. So we need to find some more of the ores. Um, I have no idea where they are now. Here we go. Shiny, shiny stone, okay. <coughs> Um, because I didn't know if we got them out of one of those rocks, um, with the ore sticking out, or if we got some from the just the regular stone and they popped from there. I'm not seeing any ore, 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 ore. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go sell some of this to John. I want to sell. I want to sell. Um, see, I have 610 ore, and I think we need 10. So I think we, um, I don't want to get rid of any of that. Shells, we'll get rid of. And the butterflies. Oh, not the copper ore. No, no. 
Shell. Anything that's a shell. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that. 1914. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, now let's go find some more ore. Um. <clears throat> and again, we may have to go across the way, but let's go look over back over here. And see if there's some anywhere in this area. I'm seeing a lot of just stone, but not really ore per se. Uh, I don't know. Big drum. I got an old spring and a tin sheet. Okay. Okay, so we need to eat something. And I went in the wrong thing. Oh, but I did want to see if I had enough of everything. I need one more. So, um... I did find some of these. I'm going to move these up here because I don't know what they're used for at this point. And then we will eat, eat, and eat. Okay, we need, we need to find more of those. Um, but let's see if we can get the rest of our ten more. And I believe we have everything now. Yeah. All right, so let's go back. Oh, there's a bunch of ore down there. You see that? Okay, but right now let's go back to Fletch. And um, I hope I'm going the right way because I just don't know. Whoop, hung up on a tree. Oh, there's some right there too. Okay, so what I want to do kind of is, um, that's not it. Nope. I'm trying to remember how I did that. Oh, I, oh, okay. So where is our camp? Okay, our camp is right here. So I kind of want to um, mark that. Um, good, okay. So yeah. Um, I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Guys, this is so much fun. I, I don't know if I'm going the right way. I may not be. Yeah, I think it's around this way. I could be wrong. Um, I love new games so much. I love learning about them and exploring. And Oh, there's a big hill over there. See that? I'm a uh, I'm not sure I'm going the right way okay let's call up our map again oh like where am I oh I'm going way the wrong way okay turn around oh look at that tree that tree's cool I wonder what the kind of tree that is and what kind of resources that one gives that's pretty cool looking So it makes me wonder, is the developer Australian? Or did they live there for all, quite a while and learn all their stuff? Or, you know, or just did a lot of really good research, which you can do. Um, am I getting anywhere close? Yeah, kind of. Okay, we're going to go across here. And we're gonna pick up shells, maybe, maybe. Oh. <clears throat> now are we getting close? Okay, we're getting closer. 
I'm just getting a little burned by going in the water and I'm not really looking around first. Um, I did have to jump to get up there. Okay. I know until I get around a lot that I am going to be getting lost. Okay, we're headed in the right way. Pretty sure. <laughs> Mostly sure. Okay, now I feel like I'm not. <gasps> and there's a alligator, crocodile, whatever you want to call it right there. Okay, we are getting close. Alligator, you just stay where you're at. Whew. Yeah, we want to go this way. Okay. I think. I, I don't really know anymore. Oh, this way. This way! Whoa, got really far down there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, am I just crazy getting lost here? I'm trying to look at the map on the top right, but then I'm also trying to look at this at the same time, and I'm going the wrong way. See what I'm saying? And I'm get I'm I'm mixing my up. Ah, I see a tent. I see tent. I am still alive. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like, oh my gosh, I found home base. Tag, you're it. Oh my gosh. Well done, Riley. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. Here's a recipe for a crude furnace. Now why don't you try crafting the crude furnace at the crafting table in the base tent? Once you've crafted the crude furnace, pop it on the ground outside somewhere. Then displace the ore inside of it. It will take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities while it's melting. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready, okay? Okay, crude furnace. Nice. Sure, I would love to. <laughs> All right. So we have a crude furnace. Okay, so let's go put that over by our tent. Like I said, I was trying to find a little area over here where we could just keep all of our stuff. Um, so crude furnace, so let's move that down here. See, I got a million more of those. Okay. Good. Oh, that's not the right thing. Um, I want the 10 ore. What is that? An old gear. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're doing that. I love the graphics. I love the, um, how easy it is to just do things like this. Man, I don't know how many planks we would need at any one point or if we're going to need logs. It's not like there's not an overabundance of trees. What I don't know is, do they grow back? That I do not know. But you know, um, we've got some stuff here. You gotta, you've got to, you've got You've got to squeeze for every dink you can, even if it means dealing with shells. Here's a milestone for selling shells, okay? Bugs are everywhere for some reason. John wants them. Here's a milestone for selling bugs. All right. Fruit, meat, fungus, it doesn't matter. Food will give you energy to keep doing your tasks all day long. Here's a milestone for eating things, okay? Um. I think we've gotten all the rest. I'm going to imagine that the new ones come up here. So, <coughs> okay. 
Oh. Um, let's go. Let's go give this to Fletch. And she's gone. Fletch! Uh, she went over here. What are you doing over here? Well done, Riley. You have proven yourself invaluable once again. You're really starting to carry a lot of stuff around. I'll tell you what. I'll teach you how to craft a wooden crate. You're going to need a recipe for nails, too. I'll tell you what. Paradise is well on its way to being a great settlement again. With a furnace and a table saw, we can start thinking about building more permanent structures. I'll tell you what. We should try and get John to set up a real shop here. Let's do it. That's the spirit, Riley. I reckon if we spend a bit of money in his tent, he'll see it worthwhile. Oh, and we should show him how friendly people are around here. Why don't you ask John if he has anything he needs done? If we can prove to him that Paradise is a great place to move in, to move, I'm sure he'll ask to live here for good. Nails! And a wooden crate. God, you gotta love storage. Uh, John! Hi, John. Oh, good day. How's it going, mate? You need anything? I would love something to eat right now. Think you can find me something to eat? Sure. Awesome. Cheers, Riley. Um, I have no idea what to get you to eat because I can't even find my own food. And that's, oh, look how pretty this looks in the evening hours with the campfire. Oh, and look at the moon over there. It's like a half moon. Where am I going to find food? Food. I need food. Did I just pick up meat? I'll be dang, I did. Okay, I guess something died over there. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is why meat is just going to be laying around, right? So, um, I keep wanting to, um, hit my up thing instead of the, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Um, okay. So we got three meat. Um, we'll just put those down here and that there. And we'll just cook us up with some meat. Meanwhile. Oh, it requires five. Okay. Good to know. Isn't this cool? Look how pretty it is, too. Look at her face glowing from the fire. And she has pretty eyes and stuff. Pretty hair. I'm, I like the character. I like the character a lot. Okay, John, where'd you go? John. John. Uh, John. John? John? Like, how do you know where they go? Think he's in his tent? Do you think he's right here? Huh. It's a good night to just relax. This is for you. You've got something to eat? Sure. Thanks, Riley. Wow, you really found something to eat? You're the best, Riley. I really owe you. Come here. Come. Take care. Take this. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Thanks again. A pirate hat? Aw, oh, yeah. Keeps the sun off and the water in. Okay, now how do we put that on is what I want to know. Um, because we are doing that. Um, like, right now. Oh, my gosh. I've got a pirate hat. Did I get all the meat? I think I did. I've got a pirate hat. I'm like so excited. So do, oh look, it put it up on your left hand side under my energy. Spend money or sell items in John's store. Convince John to move in. Okay. Um, I think we already did all these. Oh, we just did a job for someone. So we got to buy a new tool. I think he's closed for the day. Let's read visitor's side, open 8 to 4, and it's 7 o'clock at night. Okay. 
Well, that's going to be it for today then. You guys, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> and I have to say, I absolutely love this game. Um, I will put the link to the um, to the Steam page where you can go right directly to Dinkum if you would like to purchase it. I believe it was right about $20 maybe. Um, so it's not too expensive and it is so much fun. Um, so I guess we'll see you on the next episode. And um, please do me a favor and if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and then set the notifications. It'll let you know when I upload a video or go live. Um, I'm hoping to go live, do some live streams here soon. And the more subscribers, the better chances I will be able to start doing that. Um, I definitely don't want to do a live stream and then have nobody be there. So the more uh, subscribers, the better. Um, I appreciate y'all so much and um, I will see you soon.